to my new guitar nerdery video. In my episodes number 20 and 29 I showed the extraordinary El Miola strumming technique and today I'd like to make you aware of that you can apply this technique to funk guitar playing. My former video is a good preparation for this episode. There I showed some exercises how you can gain timing, accuracy and feel for 16th notes and 16th notes that's the main topic when it comes to playing funk guitar lots of funk tunes are very fast in playing so you have to get managed to play 16th notes in a fast tempo on single strings and with chords so that would be strumming then watching those awesome funk guitar players like Corey Wong playing watching their right hand technique they are going a great distance in a really fast tempo. They are really working there. And that is necessary due to an issue we have when we play with a plectrum. We never can play strings at the same time. It's always a one after another. So if we play a chord, we have to take care that the movement is really fast so that those single strings get really tight together that we perceive it as a chord and not as an arpeggio. And that explains why the strumming has to be wide in distance. If for example the tempo is like this, if my strumming movement would only be as wide as the distance from the lowest to the highest string of the chord, it would sound like this. It's not really tight, it's very muddy. If I now widen the distance of my strumming, the width, you surely hear that the chord sounds tighter when the movement is getting wider. And that's because in both situations the tempo is the same and when I do wider movements, I have to go a greater distance in the same time. So the movement has to be faster. I cross the strings faster then. <music> Regarding the tempo of lots of funk tunes, I still myself wonder how Corey Wong, for example, manages it. It's, his right hand looks like it's from rubber. <laughs> I'm really a great fan of funk guitar playing, but this kind of playing, these white strummings, that's not really working for me. I'm always striving for uh, minimalization in movements, economic movements. And uh, here the El de Miola strumming technique comes in. Let me first give a short explanation of the El de Miola strumming technique. The main movement should come from the wrist anyway, but when you do really wide strummings like this, there's a little bit of elbow involved. And El Miola prevents this from happening by lifting up his wrist like this. So, the movement of the hand is not like this. It's more a twisting of the ulna and radius. And this way you can really keep your elbow calm.
But when it comes to the distance I'm going here in strumming, it's nearly the same. Look, when I do this, It's approximately from here to here. If I would do it like this, it would be... I can't do this. <laughs> so by simply lifting your wrist, you're making a simple down and up movement, a wide down and up movement, a twisting movement. And that spares a lot of energy. Eddie Miola developed this technique in a different musical environment. I guess he wants to imitate flamenco guitar playing with a plectrum. Sometimes it reminds me of that. And his style is not only playing fast 16th notes, he integrates in his strumming pattern really fast fills up to 30 seconds. And of course, I've already made also videos about those fast fills in number 42 and 43 and yeah also 44 i really recommend these videos <laughs> mm. and that's so cool about this strumming technique of Eldi miola these fast fills you can also integrate into funk guitar playing imagine these great distances that are really hard to manage for me. I wouldn't be able playing 30 seconds going this distance with this movement. So what differs funk guitar playing from Eldi Miola's music style? is in funk guitar a lot of times there are single notes played but with more damped strings around to get a percussive sound or chords only on the high strings and that's actually what i wanted to make you aware of today Although Eldi Miola's playing style and his music is not funk music, his strumming technique really fits into the funk guitar world. Just try to apply this technique to single strings or only high strings of chords and that will give you uh, the entry to the funk guitar playing. A more economic approach of this fast white 16th strumming and making also fast fills easily possible. Maybe a good alternative for you if you struggle with that Cory Wong style of strumming like me. This was it for today. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to see you next time.